The first time we ever tried the echo tail for muskies, we went seven for 10. Hi everyone, we're here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin on the Lake Michigan waterfront. Uh, I'm Dan Steele and I'm here with Justin Blancher from Echo Tail. And uh, he invited me here to, to talk about some of my recent success I've had on the Echo Tail. Um, grew up in Wisconsin here, but now I live in Buffalo, New York, and we've tried a lot of uh, different things out there. And one of the things that really stands out for us is the Echo Tail. Um, we've tried this one here is the ounce and a half and we use it a lot for lake trout, but we found that it works great for walleyes, even king salmon and muskies. Uh, two weeks ago, we went out on Lake Ontario and we had great success on lake trout. Uh, got a couple of walleyes, a uh, handful of king salmon jigging, and then uh, we pulled the plug there and ran to a different area and we went uh, four for six that day on muskies, including you know two that were in the, the 46, 47 inch range. And, um, you know, we've just had a, a lot of success on the bait for a wide variety of species. And I want to talk about the muskies a little bit. The first time we ever tried the echo tail for muskies, we went seven for 10 in a handful of hours. I mean, it was just eye-opening for me. And the, the biggest modification I like about this bait is the ability to change tails. You know, right now we've got a, a standard chartreuse twister tail on here, but one of my favorite tails on there is a zoom fluke. You know, and you just pop this tail off and you can put on any tail you like. And it, it makes it really versatile in that, you know, here we've got a, a white bait with some silver tape on it, but you can use, you know, chartreuse tails, white tails. Sometimes we use orange if the water's really dirty. But with one bait, you know, you can put on any soft plastic that you have laying around and just play around with it. You know, change the action a little bit. You can try paddle tails. Uh, but like I said, one of my personal favorites is that zoom fluke. You just nip off a little bit of the tail, slide it on there, and get started. And that's what we had the best success with for muskies was, you know, this bait, it doesn't seem all that, all that big. You know, this is the ounce and a half, but this was a great muskie bait for us. Um, the other thing that's great about this product line is you've got a, a huge variety of sizes. And that's great having all those different sizes. There's a lot of times with wind and current, you find, you know, a lot of other companies have you know, your half ounce and your three quarter ounce blade baits, but sometimes you're looking for something a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. And it's just really nice having the uh, flexibility there to switch sizes and adapt to the depth and the current that you're in. Um, but I found that it's, it's worked really great for us. You know, we, we started fishing it, I think three years ago now for lake trout, and we're starting to branch out into using it for smallmouth bass, walleyes, muskies, and it's been really great for jigging kings for us recently. So I'm excited to keep exploring, keep trying the different applications for it. You know, I've tried it so far in the, the cold weather periods, but I, you know, I'm excited to try it in a little bit warmer weather as well. Um, but I think there's a lot of you know, untapped applications for this bait that haven't been tried yet. So excited to keep trying here, but it looks like the lake is, is icing up. Um, so I might have to tie it onto the end of my ice rod and give it a shot. 